it's here. Not only is it here, but the first round is sold out. <laughs> the second round, uh, as of your viewing of this video, the second round of them will be in. The BQE Bandolero. Look at that. The Bandolero, it fits all kinds of cameras, is finally here. This is mine that I've had for, I don't even fucking know how long, man. When If you saw the video where me and Wombat were doing the rocket jump car, there's still glitter on this from the rocket. This is the one that we glued to the car. There's still gold glitter on it. So I've been running this frame for a fucking minute, man. I have not... I hit my eye. Testing, and all the testing of the Bandolero frame has only been three or four arms broken. And we've been testing this thing for a fucking year. It's a it's a rock solid tank. I feel like I shouldn't just hold it up like this because this doesn't really do justice. This is just my build, which I'll show you later. Here, while I talk to you, let's roll some pictures that BQE took of the frame and here's the specs on it. It's 142 grams raw, 166 grams with all the 3D accessories you see here. That's GoPro mount, bottom plate, accessory slot, which we'll talk about later, all that shit. It has five inch, six inch, and seven inch arms. If you want to put seven inch arms on this and make some crazy, I kicked the camera, some crazy seven inch fucking arm beast, you can do that with this motherfucker. It has this little GPS holder right here that you can pop your GPS in so you can do return to home and all that fancy stuff. It's slammed. It's a super slam build. Whatever these are, what 15 millimeter space spacers, standoff things. But mine, everything fits in mine. I run a uh, the full size TBS. Don't tell immersion. I'm using TBS VTXs. But with the full size TBS, I'm running the Crossfire, and this one has the Foxy F405 board. All crammed into it. Not. It wasn't hard. I, I have a lot of room. And look at the camera. There's so much room for the camera because you can fit with these little camera mounts. These little wacky guys. You can spin around. Full size, mini, and micro fucking cameras. What else does it have? It has a ton of 3D accessories. Did you know that? There's so many outfits you can put on this thing. There's this little bottom thing that I have on mine that I actually originally cram put my um I originally put my receiver in there and had the wires coming out the side, but now that I'm using Crossfire, I have it inside. But you can hide drugs in there. You can fucking do whatever you want with that little green thing right there, the little accessory spot. You can also get uh, another mount like this one. Oh no, I don't have I'm using the wrong thing. Where to go? I broke my GoPro mount, as you can see, it was hot glued, here, will that help? It was hot glued and then broken, but this is the mount that you get for the GoPro and it just goes right in there and it also will fit on the bottom. So if you want to run a chase cam, if you're doing some super cool chase footage, you just put it on the bottom and then you have your bottom GoPro for your chase cam. I think that's pretty cool. I have nothing to use it for some chase stuff when Cricket invites me to go chase motorcycles, Cricket. When you invite me to chase motorcycles, Cricket. When Cricket invites me to go chase motorcycles with him. There's not much more I can say about it. Vortex made a video, Wombat made a video, a few BQE teammates. Congratulations, Chris Teal Westside for being the newest teammate, uh, newest BQE team member, by the way. Um, a few people have made videos on this. It's just a badass fucking frame. It's it's not heavy, but once you have everything on it, it flies different. It flies like it doesn't want you to do crazy. It wants you to fly smooth. It forces you to fly a certain way, and I really like that. Instead of me just rambling on more about this frame, how we pop on over to the cemetery, aka Bot Grander Battle Testing Grounds, and I'll rip up a couple packs. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Watch watch the flight. Watch the smooth instead of the uh, the crazy that it makes you do. All right. So I was gonna go to the cemetery like I was saying, but then I decided no, no cemetery because I have this fucking whistle like a mermaid, super sweet bando right behind me. I have to always forget that this is fucking here because it's always covered in shrubbery and they finally cut it down again so they revealed my bando like Zelda. Yeah, yeah, fucking, yeah, flying time. Yeah, yeah, just kidding. I got, um, everything all set up and ready to go. I was about to plug my battery in. I was like, oh, I need to put props on my quad because it doesn't have props on it. And I realized I didn't bring a prop wrench to put my fucking props on. I think this is only four blocks from my house, huh? Uh. All right, back at the house, except that it's a new day. It's not yesterday, it's today. It's the same day for you, so I don't even know why I'm fucking telling you that. I came back and I got my prop wrench. I also changed my shirt and the day's changed. Have you seen my shirt? If you can't see my eyes is because I'm doing drugs or something 
Thanks, Rabbi. Uh, I came back, I got the prop wrench, but also check this out, spaghetti hands. If you watch my live streams at all, if you don't, you should. If you watch my live streams, I was like, yo, make me the fucking, uh, why are you trying to track? That's not my face, that's my face. I was trying to, uh, Mag, give me the Nokia ringtone. Maybe I said that in the video, not live stream. I said, give me the Nokia ringtone and spaghetti hands did. So thank you very much, spaghetti hands. You're fucking, look at me, I'm standing here. It's the future. I'm standing here holding this camera talking, talking about somebody's name is spaghetti hands, thanking him for something. What's going on? Thank you very much, Spaghetti Hands. Uh, link in the description below to this sweet ass fucking BL Hell 32 startup tone Spaghetti Hands made me. If you have ever sold drugs in the 90s and early 2000s, you'll recognize that as a Nokia tone. It's a Nokia tone. Thank you very much, Spaghetti Hands, for doing that for me. If you want your startup tone to be a drug dealer's cell phone tone, link in the description below to Spaghetti Hands' process of making it. All right, let's go take the dog and the drones to the fucking stupid cemetery. All right, made it to the cemetery. Jolene's pretty stoked. I'm pretty stoked. I'm in a different part than I usually fly because I forgot. I was like, you know... This thing is fucking enormous. This cemetery is so fucking big. Why am I just hanging out at the one spot over there and flying all the time? I should be exploring more of it. And it's fucking nice. There's a, there's a bunch of spots with little trees and little tunnels and all kinds of places to get my drones stuck. Because it gets dark in a couple hours. Hopefully it doesn't happen. Why do I always fucking curse myself? Whatever. We're here. I got the fucking vortex frame. Ready to run it. Ready to show you that smooth fucking flying style. Also, I'm running, thanks to Fox Ear, this guy. I'm running this box, too. So all the footage that you see of... Are you focused? All the footage that you see of me flying my drone today will be brought to you courtesy of Fox Ear and the Bok 2. Box 2. The Bok Choi. Fucking whatever. Here's some drone shit. up my bra strap and um let me boost it with my raw rap cause I'ma break it down to the nitty gritty one time when it comes to the lyrics I get busy with mine busy as a beaver you best believe her this grand diva's running shit with the speed of a cheetah meter look for cool murderer I'm serving them like two scoops of chocolate check out how I rock it I'm the one that's throwing bolos you better roll a rollo to find out I'm the number one solo uh the capital R-A now take it to the G-E I bring the things to life but you still can't see me I flow like the monthly you can't grant my style for those that tried to punk me here's a parent child no need to say no check the flow rage in the back once more so now you know I rock rough and stuff with my Afro pops rock on with your band What a great day, what a great little day of ripping in this part of the cemetery. I don't normally come to, this thing is so big, I really should come down here more and explore more spots. Like that little tree tunnel power loop thing, I had no idea that was down here. I just like, shit, I'm gonna fucking come down here and try to find something. So cool, stuff like that. The Bandolero, the BQE Bandolero, the Vortex Frame, the fucking, dude, this thing is so fucking fun to fly, I love it. It's out now, there's a link below to BQE site to get it, it's on Race Day Quads, it's on Pyro Flip, it's on all the fucking websites and shit. Anywhere you want to buy a drone frame from BQE online, you can buy it, we have it, is this thing, okay, good. Uh, so go buy the frame, dude, it's fucking awesome, and you know, support BQE, because we're a fucking super cool company, making super cool shit, and the more of our shit you buy, the more shit we can make. Try it. If you haven't tried a BQE frame, just fucking do it, man. We got the Rip Squeak for $20. It's a micro frame, a 3-inch, for $20. Try out some BQE. Besides that, buy the fucking good frames, the pro model frames, so we can make more and shit. Or don't. I don't care. Thanks for watching my video. Thank you, BQE and Vortex, for making a sick fucking frame. I love running this thing. Thank you, people, for dying so I can have a sick cemetery to rip in. And, um, is that it? Hail Satan.
with your baby.